Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth, your friendly neighborhood introvert and founder and creator of the Facebook page, Skein of a Different Color. Well, it has been a hot minute since I last went through my yarn stash and revealed what I have. And so today I thought that I would take advantage of my husband watching both of the kids and so that I could sit down and film a video for y'alls. As you can tell, I got my hair chopped. It was starting to look kind of mangy and it was starting to get kind of difficult to work with and just maintain in general, especially seeing as I can't use commercial hair care products due to my coconut allergy. And so I was like, you know what? It's about time for the chop chop. And honestly, it's not short enough for me. I would more, I would want to go back and get it chopped probably up to here and then have it like full of layers and then just go crazy with a hairspray or hair gel. Not Gorilla Glue though. Mm -mm. I've seen one too many people do that right now and I'm just like, y'alls are messed up right now. If you think that it's okay to put something that is in the tool and home improvement aisle onto your head, that is not okay. But anyway, so uh, like I said, this is a video to give you kind of a brief update of my yarn stash and also show you a project that I am working on. Speaking of which, I will actually start off my project bag and then after that I'll go into the yarn. So this little thing, well not little, it's like 15 by 15, I actually picked it up from an, a Facebook yarn stash site where they sell things like project bags, um, yarn, and a whole bunch of other different things that are crochet or knit related. And so huge shout out to Yarn Hoarders D Stash. I am so happy for this bag that I got because inside this bag, it also has a some, like a little bag that you can put all of your hooks and notions in, such as your stitch markers and needles, your scissors. I need to get a different pair of scissors though because this is a, just a tiny bit too big, but whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a it has a bag within a bag and it's attached via this nice cool little string here so that I never lose it amongst the things that I'm working on. And since I have the project bag, let me just show you that first. So I am working with Yarn B Must Be Merino Aran in teal and then also in mustard. So I have two skeins I'm working from right now from those colors. Um, and then I've got these as backups. And then this one will be the border. And this one is Must Be Merino Aran in white, obviously. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm working on. Just a little baby blanket. It is taking me forever because of how dependent our daughter is on me. And so I'm not always able to put her down to pick this up. So, but I am really impressed with how much I have been able to get done off of it. And it is turning out to be so gorgeous. I am so excited. I'm really looking forward to being done with the project so that I can actually take pictures with our little Fifi wearing it. So let me just put these things away um, and then I will show you the rest of what I've got in my yarn stash. Uh, some of them are from a subscription box. Others are ones that I got online from Yarn Hoarders D Stash and then others I got from Oh my gosh, what is that store called? Hobby Lobby. How could I forget that name? It's everywhere in the yarn community. Anyway, so let me just sit up here, cross my legs like that. So this past weekend was my husband's and my four year wedding anniversary. So we were able to drop my son off over at, or our son off over at my parents' place so he could stay the night there. And then my husband, daughter and I, we stayed at this really, amazing um oh gosh what is it called in there we go <laughs> mom brain today oh my gosh and i'm on decaf so there's also that so uh in the city that we or town it's really a town anymore that we stayed at i hit up the yarn shops that they had over there 
and I picked up these five gorgeous little skeins of yarn right here. These ones were for $5.50 each, and this is a cashmere um, silk blend. Super soft. I can't wait to work with this. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but it's gorgeous. And for $5.50 for cashmere and silk, that's a steal of a deal. And then also um, from Sky Yarns, I got 100% cotton. And again, I just love those colors. Um, so I got those and all of that yarn was actually $26 and some odd cents on sale. So mama did good. And then let's see, where do I want to go next? Yeah. So then on the Yarn Hoarders D stash, I also picked up these Katia Linen yarns. So these yarns are actually, let me just find the contents. They are 53% cotton and 47% linen, which is still a pretty good deal. Like, I'm super excited for this yarn. I think what I'm gonna end up making with this is a travel bag or something like that, just because it's so beautiful and having a bag is something that you can use no matter where you are or what have you. So I am just really looking forward to working with these yarns as well. And then also from Yarn Hoarders D Stash, I got these paint box yarns right here. And these are just gorgeous. They're basic acrylic, which is your standard run of the mill yarn, but it def. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's 100% acrylic. And so it's not like cotton or merino or any other animal or plant fiber it is plastic unfortunately however it is super soft and i can't even tell that it's acrylic because of how soft it is like i could totally mistake this to be a super wash merino blend kind of yarn because of how good it feels so yeah i got this from the yarn hoarders d stash website as well and then for christmas um i got this cascade yarns 128 super wash multi yarn and this is 100 percent superwash merino wool look at that it is gorgeous i don't know what i'm gonna make with it and i'm kind of seeing a blue green neutral theme here already like we have these uh green and gray and but then we also have these browns and then this kind of like sea aqua blue color right here so i got a little bit of a theme this time around i'm impressed and then from Hobby Lobby, they are stepping up their game. Let me tell you, I am so impressed with the yarn that they have coming in now that I wish I had unlimited funds so that I could just buy a bunch of yarn and just roll in it because of how amazing their new yarns are. And so I decided to get just three of these hanks from Hobby Lobby. These two are in the colorway uh, Tonal Tabby, and this is 100% Superwash Merino Wool. Now, this yarn that I have right here for the project is only 50% Merino Wool, and the rest of it is nylon and, uh, let's see, what is it, what is it, Ac and acrylic. So, for them to have a hundred percent merino wool that is impressive so i got two hanks in tabby and one in burnished saffron and these are just gorgeous they're dk weight so they're a little bit on the lighter side for what i like to work with but for being 100 percent superwash merino wool that is incredible it is 400 yards each and they're 14.99 that is amazing, in my opinion. And I have been to quite a many yarn store, like even uh, artisan yarn stores, and you can't even buy 400 yards of merino for even $10 at a lot of these places. And so for it to be super wash merino for 400 yards in these gorgeous colors, I'm just like, oh, I almost don't wanna use these just because of how beautiful they are, but I know that whatever I make them into is going to be just as stunning. So yeah, that's what I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then as far as the subscription yarn that I've gotten from Little Box of Crochet, 
Um, this was the most recent that I got, and this is from Rowan Brand. And there's uh, two two skeins of Alpaca Classic right there, and then Alpaca Soft DK, which is a alpaca and wool blend right here. And like I said, these came in a subscription box, so I'm not going to go into the details of the pattern itself or anything like that, also for the sake of time on the video. So yeah, these are really gorgeous. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those if I'm going to actually follow the pattern that came with the subscription or if I'm just going to go off and do my own thing like I most oftentimes do. But yeah, so there's that yarn. And then also from the subscription box, I have these gorgeous yarns right here that are I believe these are 100% wool, yeah, 100% British wool, spun and dyed in Yorkshire. So again, I got these in a little box of crochet. I still don't know what I want to do with these. Um, they, the pattern that came with it were for fingerless gloves, and sure, while those are really cute and adorable, it's also starting to warm up a little bit here on the west coast. Yeah, West Coast. <laughs> Just had to make sure that I had my coast right there for a moment because things have been pretty crazy lately. Um, and so, yeah, these are gorgeous. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I know that I'm not going to follow the actual pattern, but I might use these for the pattern that came with the Rowan yarn. So I could swap out the yarn for the pattern, which would be cool. Um... And then again, I just have my Avalon yarn from Cascade Yarns all wound up into cakes. Uh, this, yeah, this one, these are 50% uh, cotton and 50% acrylic. And then over here, I have my 100% cotton yarns right here, Pima Cotton from, again, Cascade. So I still have no idea what I want to do with these. These are too beautiful of colors for me to just make a half thought out project. I really want to take the time to figure out what I want to do with these that will actually celebrate the colors and allow the even the weave and the twist to come through really nicely. So that is basically all that I have in my yarn stash as of this moment. Um, like I said, a lot of these, I don't have any idea of what I want to do with them. Um, a lot of that is due to the fact that I do have mom brain still, and so I really don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if I'm just going to make a quick project and gift it to somebody, or if I'm just going to really take the time right now while I'm still nursing and all of that to really plan out projects, because that's something that I didn't really that I haven't really done before. I haven't really planned out a project before. It's typically been like, ooh, I like that yarn, so I'm gonna buy it so that I can make this quick thing. And then something that typically happens when I do that is that I'm not really impressed with the product that comes out and then I'm discouraged because sure, to any other person, it's beautiful and they would love to have it. But for me, my standards are kind of up to here, like out of frame up to here. And so it's kind of difficult to buy yarn and then just like make it, make it up into a quick project because I don't want to do that anymore. I want to make things that I'm actually going to like. Uh, things that I'm actually going to get some use out of if and if anything have it for many many years not just have it for six months and then it goes out with the next months of donations so that is a little something that I am keeping an eye on as far as um, different projects that I'll see on Facebook and then also on the YouTubes um, so yeah that is about everything that I have in my yarn stash. I would do a fabric haul or stash video, but I don't really have that many uh, yards of fabric in general. And then also, I'm kind of not so much of a sewist as I initially thought that I would get into. I mean, I started watching a whole bunch of videos on historical costume making or recreation costume making and I thought, oh, that'd be so cool to get all this fabric and do my own thing. But honestly, it's turning out to not really be my thing. I mean, I see myself using 
more flannels to make quilts for my children more than anything else. So that's a whole other story. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my yarn stash. Um, and yeah, I guess that is about everything that I wanted to pop on here for. So once again, my name is Elizabeth, your friendly neighborhood introvert and also the founder and creator of the Facebook page, Skein of a Different Color. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.